Welcome to the transformational course level one. And in this level, we're going to show you how to activate that chi in your body, activate the energy flow, get that energy moving, the fuel, so that it powers your entire pyramid, prosperity pyramid. So I'm going to share with you some uh, internal qigong breathing meditation practices, as well as some external tai chi and qigong movements that you can practice at home anytime, anywhere that you want so that you can get that chi activated, cultivate that chi, and help it to grow inside of your body. So the most basic practice is breathing. So this is the basis of all of the meditations and all of the Tai Chi and Qigong practices that you will learn from this point on is proper breathing. The first kind of breathing that I'm going to teach you is what we call prenatal breathing. Prenatal means before you were born. So if you look at little babies and they're sleeping and they're so peaceful, you can see that their bellies go up and down when they breathe. And that's because that's the natural way that humans were designed to breathe, to be breathe with our bellies. As we get older, as we get more uh, stressed out and, and adopt um, you know, bad practices, so to speak, uh, we start to breathe with our chest or we start to breathe with our throats and that is actually causes more stress and more tension in your body. So what we want to do now is I'm going to show you how to breathe naturally, just like a baby, and breathe your stomach. So very simple. Um, just imagine that you have, um, this is your, this is what you call the Dan Tian, okay? It's just right at your belly button. So feel your belly button and just imagine there's a little spot about one inch and a half inside of your belly button. So just, just rub that area right now and start to feel that area, you know, rub with your fingers. Start to develop some awareness of that area, right? Rub that area. And then rub around that area, little big, bigger circles. And then rub around the area in the other direction. Okay, so just feel that, right? And then maybe pat a little bit. Just feel that area on your body. Feel inside, see if you can feel inside, okay? Okay, so now that you have a good feeling of where that area is, what I want you to do is to start to um, breathe with your nose, slowly and gently. Like breathe in with your nose and put your hands on that area, so both hands. Uh, if you're a guy, you will put your left hand first and your right hand over like this with your thumbs kind of locked like this. If you're a woman, or then you would go the other way. And that's just the way that I was taught. Does it make a difference? I don't know. But that is just the way I was taught. So put that, uh, put the center of your palms. This is called the Lao Gong, center of your palms. And make them line up with your belly button. So as you breathe in, feel your belly button and your stomach um, expand. So breathe in. You should feel it expand a little bit. And then when you breathe out with your, through your mouth, you should feel it coming in. So you can't see it on the camera. I'm going to exaggerate. So when you breathe in, the hands come out a little bit. Your belly is expanded. When you breathe out, the hands come in a little bit. So if I exaggerate, it should come out and it should come in. Come out, come in. So you're not leaning with your hands. You're just feeling the pressure of your belly pushing out your hands, and then you're just following it, coming back in. Okay, so I'm breathing, I'm breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. So the reason we put our hands here is so that we can just feel the belly expanding out and the belly exhaling and, and contracting belly expanding and the belly contracting okay so do that for a few more times so breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out okay now what you want to do is to put the tongue behind your teeth touching the roof of your mouth as you're doing this. And when you're breathing, think of having a long, slender breath. So I don't want you to go, <sighs> that's not what I want you to do. I want you to have a very gentle, thin, smooth breath. And the point is I want you to extend that breath as long as possible. So something like this. So breathe in gently. 
I'm still breathing in. I'm still breathing in. And then breathe out slowly through the mouth. I'm still breathing out. I'm still breathing out. I'm still breathing out. Okay? So do it, let's say, as long as you can. Let's say we'll start with five seconds. Let's count to five. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, as you get better and better at this, what you can do is extend it up to 10 seconds. See if you can lengthen that breath in 10 seconds. And whenever you start feeling tension in your chest or shoulders or throat, then start all over. Just relax and just do it again, okay? No problem. Um, so, that, so, the, so what you wanna do is to relax your stomach because when you relax it, then it tends to kind of just expand it by itself. And I think the tendency that most people have will be to breathe with their chest. You see, like this, the, the chest comes out. You see how my shoulders are coming up like this? See how my chest expands? That's breathing with your chest, okay? Or if people breathe with their uh, shoulders, it'll be, see how my shoulders come up? That's, you don't want that. Or some people breathe with their throat. See what's, what's happening? So that's what, you don't want that. So you want to breathe with just your stomach. You want to relax the head, relax the neck, relax the shoulders, relax the chest. Move it around so it's relaxed. And just feel just your stomach moving. Okay, another point is to keep your eyes half closed and half open. That helps you to relax. And you want to be looking slightly downwards into infinity. That's the gaze that you want to help this meditation practice. Now this standing, you're probably wondering if you uh, can do this standing or sitting or lying down. Actually, you can do it any way. You can do it any way that you want. You can be sitting on a chair or in a lotus position, or you can be lying down and doing this. Actually, a lot of people like to lie down because it's easier to feel your stomach going up and down and you can relax your body a lot easier. So if you're having trouble doing it standing or even sitting, then you can start by doing this, just lying down on the ground, doing exactly what I just showed you, just doing the slow breathing, slender breaths while you're doing it on the ground. And you should be able to feel your stomach go up and down a lot easier. So practice this one and I'll see you on the next video.